So today we are getting fit for some brand new irons. We're going to take you through the whole process. We've just arrived at the location for it and we're going to go through pretty much a tour level fitting to show you what would that entail and also maybe sort of check off a few things that you might have questions about if you were to go and get a fitting. Um, so we're going to head in now and also if I can I'm going to try and see if I can twist one of the guy's arms to do a big giveaway for us throughout this video, see if we can maybe get some irons to give away. So stay tuned for that. But let's head in and see what this uh, fitting process from a brand new irons is going to entail. So we've come down to Bearwood Lakes, which is the home of the tour fitting centre for Mizuno. This is the tour truck that the tour players would have all their clubs built on. We're going to meet Alex, who's one or the head of the tour technician department. He's going to take us down into the fitting academy and run through everything and see what this fitting process would actually look like. So let's head in, go and meet him and go through what it is I'm looking for in these new irons. All right, Alex. How are we, sir? Right. Yeah. Yes, very good, thank you. New irons. Yes. Want to showcase to everyone watching a little bit of what's going to happen in a fit, okay. what to expect. Mm -hmm. I've obviously had a few in the past from yourself, but mm -hmm. what are we going to go through today? Um, we... So we've got a couple of bits built up for you here. Um, two different weights. So just be interesting to see what the, the different weight does to performance. Okay, is that shaft weight? Correct, yeah. Yep. Um, swing weight's the same, length is the same. Currently, loft and lie is the same, yeah. both in the 243 head. So we'll go and hit some, have a look at potentially how each perform in that setup, and then we may look at adjusting loft, lie, and maybe looking at some different heads as well, just to kind of max out on which weight you prefer and where we end up. Okay, perfect. So head selection, shaft, weight, and flex, and then a bit of loft and lie. Yeah. And would loft and lie change a lot? Can do. Lie, lie not so much. Um, loft would probably be the, the first character to change, just depending on the weight difference. Um, and shot window, and obviously spin will change as well, so it's just a, a consideration that we may have to look at um, adjusting through the fit. Right then, let's go spray some. <laughs> <See how we're laughs> so we've had a little bit of a warm up there, Al. Where do we go from here in a fit now? I would imagine that would always generally be the, the first stage, get, a, get an idea. Yeah, I'd start with a gamer. Um, I think the easy move is to just start you off in the 243 head, Yeah. which is similar to what you've got, but it's a slightly smaller chassis. The slot cut is a little bit wider and extends further to the face. So it's a little bit more forgiving in a smaller head. Yeah. Don't think you're going to benefit too much from the 241s in the blade. Yeah may look at the two four fives in the longer stuff but yeah, i think maybe like a, i would think maybe a four iron yeah. five iron yeah. potentially in those yeah i don't think you're gonna need that through the set but no. that might be helpful at the longer end because i'm such a striker um <laughs> if just like we've obviously got launch monitors out here now if if someone's going in you know average joe off the street mm. Obviously, everyone's numbers are different. When we're going for an iron fitting, opposed to a driver, we're looking for that mm -hmm. distance. You know, yeah. It's the distance club. Is there any sort of numbers you would say to the punter, well, we, we want to focus on, is it spin? Is it club head speed? Is it carry distance? What, you know? Yeah, for me, it's a, it's a balance of all three. I think it's too easy to go into a fit, especially in an indoor setting. Yeah. And people tend to get drawn into just distance yeah and that's a very easy and quick quick win couldn't it be for the fitter yeah but if you're not taking into spin and launch numbers yeah out on the golf course you're going to get jumpers you're going to struggle to hold greens yeah so it's not what i'd call a balanced fit it yeah. needs to be a combination of a distance improvement yeah on the right parameters around spin and launch yeah. to actually keep them playable Distance gain is nice, yeah. but it's not the be all of end all. And yeah. I think especially hitting into a net, it's very easy to, to fall into that trap. Yeah, so definitely be aware of that. I think, yeah, we get a lot of people I speak to a lot, it's, oh yeah, well I've gone 10 yards longer, but if your spin's dropped by a thousand reps and it's coming in flatter, yeah. Yeah. it's running off the back of every Correct. green. Yeah. So, okay, so we'll bear that in mind. So. Probably want to stick with those two, four, three heads as a starting um, point. Yeah. For me, just looking at them, I think those two, four, fives, definitely from six down, I would be a little bit hesitant. 
I think they're maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know. They look nice, but yeah. a bit too chunky on my eye, maybe, for yeah. the, that shorter stuff. Mm -hmm. As well, the blade, I don't feel like I would be able to have my run onto the first tee um, <laughs> mentality. Fresh out the wrapper. Yeah, yeah, and get the most out of them. So, go with the, the, the two, four, threes then. Mm. What are we looking at now? Where do we go from here? So I think we've, we've got the two different weights to yeah. to try. Yeah. Um, you've currently been in the 125. Yeah. In the current set, so we've got yeah. that to as a like for like comparison. Same loft, same life, same swim weight. Yeah. Same length, um, and then the 105, a little bit lighter, um, just to see if there's anything that will benefit that in terms of speed, feel. Um, potentially might launch it a little bit higher. Yeah. We might need to then look at dialing in the the, uh, the loft just okay. to bring the spin and the launch down. Okay. But I think if we hit a few, we can have a look and then see if there's any benefits or um, positives to be taken from either or. Okay. Right then, should we go one, two, five first yeah. then? Go yeah. like for like. Yeah. Right. I think one big thing as well, if you're ever in a fitting, is target, isn't it? I know yeah. a lot of people will come in and just whack, whack balls aimlessly, but alignment is key. That was nice. What's the distance? 176. That was so middle, that as well. Hmm. The one and only. They feel lovely. Yeah. Feel much different to... I'd say they feel softer, you yeah. know, off the face. Yeah. That might be because I'm finding the middle more. But <laughs> it tends to help. Not that one. Well, out. That was chunky. When I get a great, like, well-timed one, they feel incredible. Oh, that was good. Look at it. If you're not quite on, it's yeah, not giving you much. Yeah, just lagging. Yeah. With all things being equal, though, the, you know, the main change is going to be static weight, swing weight's <laughs> the same. Yeah. Between the two. So yeah. you're just changing the overall weight of the club, so it might feel different to time for the first yeah. few swings. Yeah. But you'll adapt fairly quickly and then it's just a case of feeling if that's a feeling that you prefer and if it's helping you a little bit, you should see a little bit more club head speed. Yeah. Um, but just probably a little bit easier to work. From, you know, average jol golfer walking in again off the street, if they're mixing through, you know, like the array of shafts that we've got here mm -hmm. and we were just changing from one manufacturer to the other, would you notice massive difference in that weight? Would the would the weights be very different or? Um, yeah, because depending on the manufacturer, the balance point will be slightly different. Right. So th these will be fairly similar. Yeah. Um, because you're sticking with the same manufacturer. So yeah, that will have a, an, an effect on the weight may be the same on two shafts from two different manufacturers. Yeah. But where the balance point will be, they'll feel very differently and they can swing weight differently as well. So then... they're further towards the butt or further towards the tip, you'll feel it more tip wood. Yeah. And you'll feel the head heavier. Yeah. Whereas if it's towards the butt, the head will feel lighter and it'll feel potentially more stable in the handle. So that'll transition to when some, when, when the golfers swing in, they're going to feel that yeah. in that transition point, yeah. they'll either feel it. Yeah. One and and people, the will other. people will prefer more of a feel in the hands and stiffness versus yeah. more towards the tip and feeling the head more through the swing. Yeah. So then that comes down to a personal preference as well. Okay. So that's, you know, obviously the, the importance of fitting, yeah. you know, yeah. oh, I'm stiff. I there is a regular, what's, you know. There is no industry standard on what is a stiff, what is a regular, what is an x -flex. A bit like shoe size almost, isn't it? Now you yeah. get a Nike and an Adidas yeah. or a Reebok, whoever it is, Mizuno. Yeah. You get a seven in all of them. That will be different. All the different. Yeah. So I think it's very important just not to blanket yourself in a, a stiff or a regular, make sure you are you know, feeling the difference between them all. Right. I think I want to try the 105. Yeah. I'm, I'm keen, excited, ready to go. <laughs> I like the head. Yeah. I would maybe say, I think 
the shallowness maybe in that four and the five iron, I do think. Yeah. Potentially the the two, four, five. Just give you a little bit more. Yeah, just give me that little bit more leeway for mm -hmm. my fat glass. Yeah. Um, the width of the sole as well is, yeah. is was designed for the fat glass from R and D as well, so <laughs> yeah. that will help nicely. <laughs> The, uh, what, what, thinking of sole as well, mm -hmm. just while we're on that, obviously again you would go, well I don't like the cosmetic look of an iron, mm -hmm. but looking at what the sole is, is that going to help different players? Yeah, I'm not a totally. huge divot taker, like yeah. if it's Lynx turf, I sort of graze it a bit, yeah. brush it. Yeah. So what I'd be looking at would Some that, the, yeah, that, that, that longer iron. I mean that's kind of, yeah that, I mean you tend to be a little bit shallower through the ball anyway with a longer iron. Yeah. So you can get away with something a little bit wider. Yeah. Whereas then moving into the shorter irons, then the, the sole width, the roll off the back and the, and the shape. Yeah. And something narrower like that will help you nip it a little bit more. Whereas if you get a little bit steeper, you're going to need a bit more width yeah. and bounce to help the club come out the, the turf a little bit cleaner. Yeah. So yeah, that's a consideration as well. Yeah. And that yeah. again, turf conditions, if you're playing part one yep. to links, if you're always on soggier yep. ground you probably want something a bit mm -hmm. wider yep. just to give you a bit more relief right 105 let's yep. uh where were we where were we at on numbers wise those three we were looking at with those so i've got, I've got longer than my older ones yeah that so would we jump for that straight away or have the other characteristics all fallen into At the start of the video, we mentioned about trying to get a giveaway for you, the viewers, and this is the man that we need to speak to, Dave from Mizuno. What is it you can do for the viewers of this channel? Can we do a giveaway for them? Let's see how the rest of the day goes, Matt. Let's have a look how these um, clubs turn out and you fit in, and I'll have a little think and we'll see if we can cook something up, shall we? Like it. Right, so make sure you're sticking around. We're going to twist his arm a little bit more and we're going to get a giveaway for you. Stay tuned for that. felt easier off yeah. that straight away yeah yeah this do you know like that point you just made about every manufacturer being different in terms of their flex felt softer but yeah it's still got an x stamped on the shaft so you could go i'm an x flex but that feels different mm -hmm. to that straight away could feel a little bit more of the head wants to get a bit more in front of you yeah rather could than feel it yeah, yeah just coming down a little bit more as we get we got down there Obviously, like you say, the timing aspect, once we get that yep. under control. I'll take them. Well, that was club at speed. I think he's jumping as well a bit. Because I'm such a big lad. <laughs> would that translate into shot shape as well? If, I, if that would, would we maybe get them going left a little bit more if the head's coming out in front of it? You could potentially, yeah. Yep. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the weight can be a hindrance because it, it can slow you down a little bit, but also it can manage your move a little bit more as well because you've got more of a sensation with the bigger muscles of where it is. Yeah. Whereas if it's too light, you can maybe lose sensation of where it is. Yeah. And then you become a little bit more manipulative. feel a lot better off the face yeah yeah the other consideration is as well if it's too light then you can bring in the two-way miss yeah because it, because you'll start manipulating you can flip it you can block it you can do whereas if it's heavier yeah you work more linear down the line and yeah. it just kind of stays with you move a little bit better okay and are you like as you're you as the fitter now you're watching it and seeing it yeah are you sort of thinking one one is better or you don't have to tell me which one but um yeah it's, it's going back to what we were saying earlier about a fit it's you might see a slight incremental increase in ball speed yeah and some other factors but then if the dispersion starts going that way yeah more so than you're gaining distance yeah then you're not really benefiting anything yeah so you know you could gain a tiny bit but you could hit it left and right whereas if you're slightly shorter but straighter with yeah. the heavier one yeah then i'd always put you in the heavier one because you you your miss is going to be a lot less linear a lot less 
curvature either way. Yeah. And what you're going to lose on the distance, you're going to gain in the accuracy. Right. Yeah. And and that, like feeling wise, from my standpoint, how would that outweigh? Is that dependent on the fitter? That and that comes into a conversation as well, and then. You, you just look at the data and you go, look, you do this with this one, you do that with that one. Yeah. How much of a factor is the feel? Is that slightly heavier one so terrible that you couldn't use it when you're hitting it to four feet every time? Or yeah. would you prefer the lighter one that feels great and you hit it Good. out of play? Good thing I've got no feelings, I'm dead <laughs> inside. <laughs> He's a callous man. <laughs> Are you preferring the feel on that now? Yeah, I, yeah, off the face, what it feels like. Yeah. I definitely, like, visually seeing that little bit more of a left um, on a couple of misses. Mm -hmm. But then I feel like I've got some straight, like, more target orientation. Yeah, more straight down at ones, yeah. Yeah, like, that haven't moved. It's just those ones, I think, early as well. You know, after two or three, sh two shots, they've gone left. But now I'm starting to get a, a rhythm yeah. with them. He says as he hits one left. The like eyeball wise, they look a tiny bit shorter. Look like they may be stalling. Looks like there might be a bit more spin on them. Mm, a bit toey. I would say there's a few more lefts in there. It's interesting. Your variance on ball speed is much tighter with the lighter one. <laughs> yeah. So we've only got you know two point two split on miles per hour versus 4.1. Yeah. Attack angle's the same, club path is negligibly different. Dispersion wise, front to back with the lighter one is a lot tighter. Yeah. Whereas if you look at the, you got slightly heavier one. Yeah. Short, short right. Um, yeah, they're all very. Spin is very right. similar. Launch is similar. To me, front to back is probably more important. Mm -hmm. Am I? Yeah, I would say so. I, I would. Yeah, and I would say some of the dispersionary lefts. Yeah. Are probably you're more familiar with that 125. Yeah. Versus the 105. So from that, I would say it's a nicer gain front to back. The left and right, to some extent, is pilot error, and yeah. that will come down to. Oh, I don't make errors. No. <laughs> <laughs> But that would come down to familiarity of that weight and how that moves. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's definitely something to explore, I'd say. It's, you know, if you can get used to it, it's, it feels a little bit easier, feels a bit yeah. better. I think in the longer rounds as well, it would probably be a bit yeah. easier. Yeah, um, definitely. And then, so let's say we, we decided now on the 105. Mm -hmm. From here then, where would we go and would other alterations we can make to this? Would that maybe correct some of um, some of this? Like for like there, there's not there's not a load that you'd want to change. I mean, launch direction is is good. I think it's literally the the different the, the lofts are the same. Yeah. The the lies are the same. Yeah. So I think it is literally just you manipulating that lighter weight. Yeah. To how you would with the 125. Okay. So I think when you start fiddling lie yeah. to fit Are something you, that's not not broken. Neat, yeah, I think yeah. it just kind of yeah, I think it's a, a play with it a bit, get used to it, and I think you'll see that right and left just come dialed in a lot better. Yeah. So we hit. What should we do now? Hit another set of 105s, or yeah, where do we, we go from here? Yeah. Just hit a few more with that. You hit what? Uh, six shots, seven shots. Yeah. Yeah. Just plug a few more with them, and just pick a few different targets, and just see how see how that suits your eye. And yeah. That felt good. Would you fit like to a, a window of numbers with like say a, a seven iron? I'm looking for this, and eight iron. I'm looking for that. Four, five. You know. What in terms of launch and spin numbers? Launch spin, yeah, is that you know obviously every player is different and yeah. everyone's hitting it and swinging it slightly different. Yeah, I think you but just, it, are the windows that we should be looking for. 
To some extent, yeah, but I think everyone's different and delivers it differently. So you've got to look at the individual player. Yeah. There's not a, I wouldn't say across the, there's guidelines, but there's not across the board numbers that you're looking to hit. Yeah. I could feel I flipped that one then that's gone left. I yeah. feel that was me. I'll take ownership for that one. I made one bad swing. Oh. That was it. What was that? Because that was the one. That was middle, was it? That was the, the perfect shot there. On those numbers, you're not really... Are they right? Are they good? They're optimal for, for what you've delivered there. You yeah. Know, you, your launch is on the higher side, but your spin's on the lower. You start knocking the, the lofts a little bit stronger to bring the launch down, your spin's going to drop too low. Yeah. So then that's what we're saying about you, you're going to struggle to hold greens because it's coming in too flat, not enough yeah. spin, it's going to bounce low and yeah. your land is going to be too low. Um, it's much tighter front to back distance than the 125. Yeah. Um, club head speeds up a touch. Yeah. Well, a mile an hour. Ball speeds up a mile an hour, which was a nice gain. Yeah. I was just saying, that's a nice gain if everything else is in play. Yeah. If the other bits are suffering, then the distance gain yeah. isn't generally going to benefit you as a golfer. So. Yeah. It's everything working in combination, but as a package, on the shots that you've hit there, that's doing what we'd like it to do better than 125 and also feeling better for you. Yeah. So on those two parameters with everything else we've seen, it's probably a good and a good shift to make. Lie-wise, what are these at the moment? 61 degrees on the seven iron. Is that standard or? <sighs> I'm talking to everyone. You are quizzing me. 71 is... 61 is half degree flat. If we went a degree flat or a degree and a half, would that would I see more fade, potentially? Uh, like, that... Potentially, but then you could be playing with strike. Okay. Because if the toe's getting a little bit deep, yeah. it's going to be open the face. It's not going to be such a clean strike. Okay. To be honest, with those... I, I wouldn't be changing too much on, no. on the line. Are you happy with those? Mm. Right, before we move on to the rest of the set then, we need to find out where we are with the giveaway. And Dave, hit us with it. What are you willing to give us for a giveaway? Right, okay, we've had a chat. We reckon it's a challenge for you. You've got to unlock the gate on the giveaway though. Oof. That's on you. All on me. All on you. The so I reckon. The subscriber what have you been? What have you been hands. hitting that? What have you been hitting that seven iron there? About one eighty ish. One eighty average. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what then. Three goes. Yeah. One fifty. One fifty. Within within a yard. You got three goes to unlock that price. Within a yard, one fifty. And what is the prize that we are going to unlock? Okay. Let's do more or less what you're doing today. We'll get somebody down. Yeah. Proper fitting through the bag. Yeah. Drive all the way down to putter. Fourteen clubs. Yeah. Come down here. Get fitted by the boys. Yeah. Get them built, yeah, and have nine holes down there as well. Okay, perfect. How would that be? The will, yeah, that sounds awesome. There will be a little bit of a challenge to whoever wins this giveaway as well. You're going to be competing for these clubs with me here at Bearwood Lakes. What if someone can't come here though? What okay, you so got, you've got, got some, got some overseas following. ones. Yeah. How about then for the overseas audience? We'll do we'll do a giveaway. Yeah. that doesn't involve coming down. So we'll have a set of irons. Should we say seven piece iron set for uh, overseas? Very good. Now I've just got a hit. 150. Just 150. Within a yard. Which, Alex, there's premium fitter, which groove do I need if I've been getting the top ones? Yeah. Go more out the bottom? Oh. Right, okay. 150, three shots. Keep them cameras rolling because it's going to be a one shot wonder here. That's going to be a, yeah, I don't know actually. It's a little bit tight. Strikes good. No, it's going to be short. 141. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Only the nine yards out. Only nine. Not bad that for a toe. That was groove come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's gonna be short. That's getting shorter. <laughs> <laughs> right, third time lucky. I've gone too slow. I'm getting on nervous for your viewers. 
โอ้อ้ This could be very close Are we having that? One five one. Ignore the point seven. Ooh, is, just, that, is that, is that I, bone if, of contention? Yeah, if I just don't quite open my eyes, that says one five one. One five one. Yeah. We don't deal in points here. <laughs> I'm only. No one. No one deals in a point, so we've done it right. To get the giveaway, we'll list now what you have to do. So to be in with a chance to win these fantastic prizes that Dave has offered up for us, there's a few things that you need to do. Firstly, you need to be a subscriber to this channel because when we hit 250,000 subscribers, that is when we are going to pick the winner. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Secondly, I need you to go and subscribe to Mizuno's YouTube golf channel. And I also need you to go and follow Mizuno Golf Europe over on Instagram. Now, if you want to win the full set of golf clubs, there's also an extra little challenge for those because you're going to be coming down here to the fitting center to get the full fitting for them. And that's not before we head out onto Bearwood Lakes to play nine holes and take on a few little challenges that we have in store to see which clubs you will win. Hopefully, and I've got a good feeling, you will actually win the full bag. And to do that, you need to comment down in the comments, Matt, I'm ready to play. You need to be available to come down to Bearwood Lakes and take part in that nine holes and get your fitting down here. That's Matt, I'm ready to play in the comments for the full bag. If you are an international viewer and you can't get down here, don't worry, we've got you covered. What I want you to do in the comments is comment your favorite Mizuno golf club from years gone by. The winners will be picked at random from those two comments. And when we hit 250K, the giveaways will happen. So get sharing, get people subscribing to the channel. We've got 25,000 to go. And as soon as we hit that 250K mark, we're gonna be doing those giveaways. So get subscribed and get commenting, and then you're gonna get this beautiful set. Terms and conditions are in the description as well below. So make sure you check those out. Guys, let's head back to the video and see how I get on in the rest of my fitting. So we'd be pretty happy with where this is at now, Al. Yep. And then we would need to look at something potentially next. Would it be like set makeup and things like that? Yeah. Yeah, it depends whether you want to, whether you're comfortable going with that through the set. Yeah. Um, or if you are going to change something in the longer irons, yeah. what model it's going to be. And then for us in here, we'd work you through the bag and make sure the gappings are all correct all the way through. So you've got consistent yardages, yeah. no big gaps in, especially where you make the transition into a different model. Yeah. So then that can be a weakening of loft on the longer stuff or just squeezing the, the lofts. Um, on the others. Yeah, just to, just to make sure you've got correct flow through the bag and you've not got two clubs sat on top of each other doing the same thing. Okay. You've mentioned the, the set makeup there, Yeah. Al. What is this contraption you've now got me wielding? So this is our um, shaft DNA um, with the shaft optimizer. So basically, we know what shaft you need. Yeah. The shaft optimizer will give us that information, but we've already done that. Yeah. The second benefit this will actually do is it will take into consideration uh, attack angle, yeah. various other parameters, and it will tell us at which point is your critical cutoff point where we might need to shift into a different model. So this will do it automatically. So you don't oh, need right, to okay. hit everything. Yeah. It will just give us a, a point at which we should look at a different model in the longer stuff right. just to help you with the launch. Okay, so that's just measuring basically how that club's meeting yeah. the ball and then it suggests. Yeah, there's a lot of other things going on, but yeah, to keep yeah. it simple. simple. Yeah. So just address the ball and then that light will go red and then when it goes back to blue, just make a swing. Can I have these on my shaft? Because that felt <laughs> incredible. <laughs> okay, and same again. Flush in those. <laughs> do they do swing weight? <laughs> and last one. Three shots in now, what's, mm. what, the, what is the magic it spells? So we've got your swing DNA. There's yeah. no right, no wrong. This is just totally personal to you. Yeah. Um, and then once we take that through with all the other parameters we've measured, it comes up to shaft uh, set makeup. Yeah. 
and the software is actually saying that with your move you would be fine to go from four to pitch right, okay. with the two four threes. It has confidence in me. It does, yes. <laughs> um, so then it's down to you as a, on a personal level whether you prefer something a little bigger, a little more forgiving at the long end, yeah. or if you wanted to go along with that. I think the five probably I'm okay. I think the four, while I suggested going a slight bit bigger, is that I, I tee off with it sometimes. Yep. So like short par four, mm -hmm. where you, you know, doing it into a tight fairway or something, or a longer par three. Yeah. I feel like I've really got to be on it mm -hmm. to, to get one of those going. Sure. That's where I think something a little bit bigger yeah. might just give me that little bit more ease in that yeah, category. Yeah. Yeah. So looking at that, what I think I might do is just go four iron. Mm -hmm. Cause like I say, that's the club that I wouldn't tee off generally with a sure, five yeah, iron. I'm sure. still confident that I can get the four iron right direction, right distance. But it's just, if it's not quite struck, I still want it to get out there to go there. Yeah. Let's cool. do that then. Let's go four iron to, to wedge, I think in cool. those. Cool. Let's see where we are. Perfect. Done. So that is the full set built then. Mm -hmm. Just wrapping it up nicely, I think for the viewer, what are the main points? If they're going for an iron fitting, what should they look out for? Um, don't solely look at distance gain. Yeah. Look at the complete package. Um, take into consideration, well, the fitter should be looking at spin, launch, land angle, everything as a package. Yeah. Um, be aware of weight of shaft. I think we spoke about that there's no industry standard of stiff X yeah. or regular, so it is really important to be fitted. Don't assume that just because you're fitted for once. an S-Flex or something once upon a time, you're still gonna be an S-Flex in a different shaft because profiles change, balance points change, swings change, so yeah, if you're gonna do it, do it properly. Brilliant, so if you are going for a fitting, make sure you listen to Al's points there and you'll definitely walk away with probably a better fitting experience. Time to uh, put these in the bag and give them a try. What have we ended up with then? What was the full set? So you've got the two, four, threes, four, uh, five to wedge. Yeah. And then a two, four, five in the four iron. My gentleman's helper. And then we are with the Axiom 105 X's. Perfect, right. Make sure you tuned into the next video to see me actually test these bad boys out on course for the first time. And if you haven't already, make sure you've entered the giveaway for the full custom fitting down here at Bearwood Lakes and the chance to play with me or the iron set if you are an international viewer. Big thank you to Al. Pleasure as no always. Problem. And I will see you in the next video.